or find Awesome Cast on Facebook, Google Plus, and a lot of conversation actually happening over the Facebook group for Awesome Cast as well. Um, that's where we actually got an extra awesome thing of the week this week. So let's get right into it with our awesome things of the week. Chilla, let's start with you this week. So mine is, and I've I'm I usually buy like one, and to me this isn't low end, but I usually pick up like one low end laptop slash tablet slash whatever per year mm -hmm. and this caught my interest it is it is a little bit on the pricey side um if you remember last year i think i got the samsung tablet pc mm -hmm. it was kind of a windows atom based processor with a pen yada etc still get much use out of that i one? still i That's you good. know what? I, I use it a lot um good. i use it way more than i thought it's not it's not a daily driver it's not my primary machine um but Still has a snappy interface. The S Pen is actually kind of nice um, if you want to mark something up or use OneNote or whatnot. Um, and because I continue to use it, and I'm also a former or a current, I guess, Windows RT user, Microsoft announced the Surface 3. Note, not the Surface Pro 3, the Surface 3, which is going to be powered with a new Intel chip, not Atom based. Um, and the Intel chip is part of the Atom processor family, and I think it's called a Cherry Trail, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's not the Core M that Apple's using in the the new um, the MacBook, the new MacBook, mm -hmm. um, but it is I want to say quad core. Um, the device weighs about a pound and a half. Um, which is a nice weight for to me for a, for a tablet slash laptop. Um, running full Windows 8, which I think is a big deal for them. So any of your applications that ran, and I'm I'm running on with some even Windows 10 some some apps that ran on Windows XP. Mm -hmm. um, fits in the new the, in the in the what I'm impressed with the Surface Pro 3 the three by two frame. Um, so it's not the 16 by nine that weird oblong. Um, look, it's the iPad look and feel, if you will, um, kind of like the piece of paper. Um, it starts off at five ninety nine for the basically RT version. For basically the RT version, but running full Windows eight, so you don't have the issues of okay, hey, I can't run this app. So it's going to run anything that the Windows Pro version can run. Mm -hmm. Obviously, based on processor spec, you're not going to be okay. Oh, so we're not limited. We're not limited on that 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 yeah. architecture issue that we had before, right? Where all you really had because uh, those may not remember the Windows the Surface RT. Basically, like as far as the desktop side goes, um, you had Office included, and that was it. And that was it, <laughs> and probably Internet Explorer, I would imagine. And, uh, you, and you had Internet Explorer for both Metro and right. The so, but the idea is no, no Chrome, no Firefox. No, no. So basically, like is it, it had to be everything you bought through that Windows Store in that Metro, whatever they call it, interface, the modern interface, um, which was very limiting because not a lot, still a lot of surprising people still don't have versions for that interface. And I apologize, four ninety nine for the base model. Okay, so two the base model gets you two gig of RAM, sixty four gig of storage. Now it'll be interesting to see how much that 64 gig is used up. Runs 499. Now that does not include a type cover. And it does not include the pen. If you want to pick up the pen, the pen runs about 50 bucks and the type cover runs about 130 ish. Mm -hmm. um, the next level up is 599 following the normal hundred dollar increment. It does get you up to four gig of RAM and 128 gig of SSD space. Um, their pen actually, they like I said, you do have to purchase the pen separately, unlike you would with the Surface Pro. Mm -hmm. But it does give you 256 levels of um, pressure. So it's pressure sensitive. Um, and, uh, yeah, I was right. It's Cherry Trail is the Atom X7 processor. I mean, to me, for, for the price point and the fact that they're throwing in 802.11ac, Bluetooth 4... There's going to be an LTE model, so you're going to see this on Verizon and probably AT&T. Um, they're 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 up playing all the different type covers. You're you're getting the red, the orange, the black, the blue, and navy blue. Pens come in different colors. Their, their dock is really nice. Yeah, I was looking at that over here. Yeah, the, the dock they've always done a good job with their dock, at least in in my mind. It it gives you 
the feeling of, hey, I can put this on my desk and it's going to look nice. It's not going to look... it doesn't take up a lot of room. I like that. I like how it just kind of like... Even though it's not seen, it just kind of like wraps around the back of the surface and it plugs into the side and I imagine, what do you get? More uh, you get ports? two. So the, the, the device comes with one USB 3 port, mm -hmm. um, a micro SD port, the charge port, and a display port. The dock adds two... Uh, two USB 3 ports, two USB 2 ports. Um, obviously, it'll charge it in the dock, and it supports an external display up to 3840 by 2160, so pretty decent resolution coming off the dock. Um, it also includes a faster uh, charging mechanism because the one other thing that I really like about this device, and I don't know, they, they had to have thought of this long before Apple announced the the MacBook with USB C, mm -hmm. but this actually charges off of micro USB. So the same thing that charges your Android phone and charges charges your computer, pretty much everything else. Yes, char wow. now charges the Surface Three, which I, to me is is huge. think about it. You carry one cord. Unless, uh, other than your Apple peripherals, <laughs> you carry you carry one cord. Um, to me, this is the perfect device for pretty much every average Joe user um, that doesn't mind running Windows. Um, I would highly recommend this to if people are looking for a new Windows type device. Now, you, like I said. It's coming in at, at a little bit of a higher price point, but when you get into the tablet and, and, and everything else, I mean, when it's when it's all said and done, and let's just say without the dock, you're probably talking 800, 680 for the base model and 780 for the the step up, probably a hundred dollars more for LTE. Mm -hmm. um, but for what you're getting at that price point, and I've it does come with a one year uh, per, or subscription to Office 365 Personal, um, which is something I've been looking to get just from the mere fact of the of the OneDrive storage. So if you look at you look at that, it's pretty much just give yourself a seventy dollar credit. Um, but to me, this is, this is a really nice device, really great price point. Um, I still even on my older Atom based machine I run an old version of Photoshop for doing some base basic Photoshop type stuff um, this includes the pen um, it, to me it's an all-around great device which is why I rated it my awesome thing of the week awesome awesome well, I